Hey everybody, here's your Friday tip. Um, last week we talked a lot about, you know, slowing that stride length down and hope it came through. I'm hoping with being, you know, a little bit closer to the camera, you guys can hear me a little bit better. But what I really want to talk about too, going along with what we did last week really is, you know, how we use our hands. And for this week, it's kind of, and this is going with all the aids, is bringing life to said aid. So if a horse is leaning on an aid, like I'm not even just talking about your hand, is when they lean into that Brit bit or they lean into the hand is, you know, what do we do with it? We talk, if you've been to the clinic and, or you've, you've watched these videos is we talk a lot about that creating boundaries, you know, the aids creating those boundaries for the horse to guide through, you know, what we need them to do. And, but sometimes when they lean on, and then what do we do? You know, now they're leaning on that bit, they're leaning on something, they're leaning on your leg, they're leaning on your seat. So, you know, what do we do about it? Well, we can bring life to that aid. That doesn't mean moving it like that. What it does mean is, sorry about the distraction in the background, um, is bringing life to that aid. So if I bring my hands out, let's say we're doing that one where, hey, we have that horse that's moving back and forth, is, you know, that horse is moving back and forth. Well, now they're leaning on this hand. What I mean when I say bring life to it is, you know, just opening and closing that finger. And, you know, do you see how that creates some movement in that rein? So when that horse leans on it, there's not a solid something to, to, you know, really for that horse to lean on and pull. You know, if I bring life to it, that is what I mean when, you know, creating movement to that aid. The same thing happens with my leg. You know, if I feel that horse's ribs keep moving to them, I'm gonna move it. Now that doesn't mean it goes like this, like say it leans into my hand and, you know, I'm not doing like, you know, this, it's just, how I hold my fingers, I don't hold them wide open like this when I ride. That's not how you should do it. You should have your fingers around that rein so that I can create movement. Now look at that rein move, just as me opening and closing my fingers. Then that horse can't lean against it. So that is a good way, you know, for as you're trail riding, as you're riding, as you're doing our exercises, is create some movement. You feel that horse leaning on it, you know, create some movement, create some life to that aid. You know, it's not bouncing, it's just creating some life, some movement to it. You know, and that can be within my reins. It might be my leg creating some movement. So that way they won't lean back against it. Now remember, when they're leaning on that aid, that usually means that's where that weight in that foot is. If they lean on my right aid, my right rein, that typically means they're leaning on their right front leg. So I want you to start to think about it. Start to problem solve. Okay, you know, I'm hopefully giving you enough little tips here, and I'm going to continue. You know, these little Friday tips is, you know, now how do I get that weight off of that leg? What exercises have we done to get that weight to that other leg? So that way that inside line leg can step under. You know, I hope this helps you guys. Here's this quick Friday tip. You know, check us out on YouTube. We'll have some videos on there and keep an eye on us on Facebook. Thank you guys.